our human breath contain a lot of small molecules, what we call a breath-based volatile organic compound. So when we have a specific disease or such as a virus infection, for example, so this will actually change our metabolism pathway and then change the composition of these uh, composition of these breath molecules in our breath. So using this vibrational sensor technology, we are detecting the signals that are coming from the COVID patient. In this uh, test kit, we have already incorporated several uh, infectious safety control. So for example, the disposable test kit is just one, so, so that you don't share these with other people. So and another design is that we have this uh, mouthpiece area. So after blowing, you'll use this cap to cap this area. So this will uh, prevent a uh, healthcare provider from being in direct contact with this potentially contaminated mouthpiece. So on the other hand, we also put double layer of filter over here to uh, effectively trap uh, viruses and particles from being exposing to the environment. With our clinical trial, we have achieved 95% of sensitivity and 97.8% of specificity. After receiving HSA approval, currently the team is conducting a deployment pilot at Changi Airport on a small scale of workers who are undergoing the routine testing on a weekly basis. So uh, this group of workers will have their RT-PCR test done on, on the same day and then also have our breath test done on the same day. So we will then compare the results. We included 3,000 men. We had five different uh, treatments that we tested and eight floors per treatment. And then what we then did is that we made sure that they had no symptoms of the infection. Hydroxychloroquine, which has been used for more than 50 years to treat malaria, and systemic lupus erythematosus. And there was experimental evidence to suggest that it was effective in preventing coronavirus infections. So that's why it was being used. Povidone iodine, we, so iodine is a very good antiseptic. So the idea of using it is that you would then sterilize the oral pharynx. The findings are that in a closed setting, uh, with a high transmission rate in young, healthy men. Hydroxychloroquine and povidone iodine throat spray, they were superior to vitamin C in preventing uh, the infection. So much so that it reduced the risk by 21% in hydroxychloroquine and uh, as much as 24% absolute rate in uh, povidone. So to ensure results of the study can be widely applied, we chose medications that were readily available in rich and poor countries around the world. We narrowed down to medications that target the upper airway and identified those that have been shown to have anti-COVID properties. Some examples may include nursing homes, hospitals, cruise ships, prisons, and those traveling in a communal settings for prolonged periods. They don't say that you shouldn't get vaccinated or you shouldn't wear a mask. Uh, so those primary interventions should definitely continue. This is a supplement and, and a very effective, good supplement uh, to reduce the risk of spread.